dear Mr. General Valley, fellow Toastmasters and guests, dear Christina. Question to the audience. How many Tatyanos do we have in the room at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, we don't have Tatyanos today. We have one. But we do have, we have one. We have one. Oh, we have one Tatiana. So it's definitely the place you should visit as often as possible. <laughs> we have other Tatianas at other Toastmaster clubs as well. As your icebreaker evaluator, I will be mostly concentrating on your strengths and things you have, elements of strengths you have. What did you show us today, in my opinion? First of all, you showed us at least some elements of so-called advanced techniques, which are body language and vocal right body language I like the fact that you didn't spend too much time behind the lectern good sign that you're not afraid of the audience standing in front of the people the second thing is that you have rather good eye contact you looked at me for some time even though people tell me I look terrible when I evaluate other people yes it's really so <laughs> <laughs> you still are courageous enough to spend yeah. Several yes. seconds looking at me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Vocal variety. I loved how you use pauses and stressed with your voice some points. And when you were talking about your institute teacher, you said, well, my institute teacher, Tatiana. <laughs> then you said, well, and of course I'm coming to my main interest, the main interest in my life. Horses, of course. <laughs> nice thing. Nice done. Going away from techniques and speaking about more general things, mm -hmm. I like your attitude. I like how you treat your Toastmaster experience. What do I mean by this? You spend, I believe, a lot of time preparing for your project, preparing your slides, and rehearsing your speech enough times so you don't have to use any notes. You deliver it by heart. Good sign. And. The thing that I believe is an inborn thing, it's very difficult to train, is your enthusiasm and energy. Definitely one of your strongest points. Well, there are, thank you, two recommendations <laughs> I would like to leave you with today. Mm -hmm. The first thing is, you delivered a very nice icebreaker and showed very good attitude. Please keep it. Thank you. <laughs> We had an icebreaker who participated in her first speech in a speech contest and she either won the contest and they were experienced speakers or took the second place. A very good result. When she, when she delivered thank you, her second speech, she was, asked, she was asked to repeat her project. You don't earn some respect and say, I'm a good enough speaker. Keep your attitude, work hard. And the second thing is, when you deliver your icebreak, you become a member not just of World Surfers, but a member of Toastmasters community, Moscow Toastmasters community. I would advise you practice as often as possible, and for that, visit Moscow Free Speakers and Toastmasters meetings as well, and take the roles, some roles there. Thank you very much for your very nice icebreak.